Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm doing a guitar lesson for Stacy by Ween. This is a song that was actually included on the uh, as a bonus track on I think the anniversary edition of God Ween Satan. It's not on the original version of the album, but it is a track by the band, and this is a request from Griffin Burke. And this is a very simple song. It's essentially two chords. Technically, it's three, but really, functionally and structurally, it's more like just two chords really is what you're focusing on here let's get right into it so the main riff it goes it's just going back and forth between a b and an e and you can hear the rhythm of it right it kind of sounds like it might be double tracked almost because i feel like there's a bit of a palm muty feel but there's also a bit of an open feel for the for the chords like I feel like maybe there's one guitar that's going and there's one that's going more like could be wrong though anyway you do not need to double track it to play it just this is just a B power chord seventh fret and an E I uh, when I see him I see like early footage of him playing this live I think he's just doing two fingers on that E when I think he's throwing in the low E which gives it that kind of low stomping sound. Uh, so this is standard three finger power chord for the B. And then going to the E, you uh, just get your two fingers on the seventh and ninth on the A and D with the low E thrown in. So. And then. All right, so just. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. That's pretty much the main riff. And the verse is just E, power chord. You can maybe throw in the G string there if you want, just make it a three. And then keep the low E, I think. And then A. So just do a power chord there. I think he's throwing in the third there. He might even throw in that suspension with the fourth on the the sixth and seventh fret of the G. But if you were to play it along, it'd be like you don't need to do that little. I just like to do that. You can also just do that by do the regular power chord version and just laying your finger down on that, right? All right. But it's but it, the chords are just E and A. back to the riff right so that's the verse and that's the riff and that's essentially the song and then we just have the solo i guess i could cover the outro first uh it's basically just the same thing uh, well by the way this, this the chords underneath of the solo are just the verse chords that's just <laughs> just does that a number of times that's that's all that's going on underneath of the solo and then the ending is just the riff again but it's played a lot more times and i feel like he does it how he normally does it before which is just the same way he just does that a bunch of times and then i think he starts going for like double stops or he like there's more notes but he definitely emphasizes these notes, which is which is just all on the ninth fret, right? So that's just A and D on the ninth fret for the B chord, and then for the E, it's just the same thing. It's just one string uh, higher with the G and D, right? So, and I like to sort of just do that by barring my uh, ring finger on there and just. Right? He might not be doing that, that's just, I think, sort of adds to it. He does that at some point. You can, or you can just keep going. And then the last couple times he does it, he plays harmonics on the 7th fret, just on the 7th fret. Alright, so 
So let's just. And it just hits it one last time on the seventh of the A for that very last part. So there's just. And that's the outro. All right, so now moving on to the guitar solo. Uh, by the way, for this guitar uh, part, it's basically just using like a flanger effect. Definitely on the, definitely on the uh, rhythm parts. Uh, I'm not sure if he's doing it on the solo. I kind of forget, but I'm sure he's doing some sort of effect on the solo. So it doesn't hurt to just leave that effect on, right? Anyway, so the lick he uses a lot during the solo is this. <laughs> All right, so that's just hammering on on E string. This is all happening on the 12th to 14th fret, right? So picking and hammering on the E string, then A string, D string. Then he hits a double stop, which is just the on the 12th fret of the G and B. All right, so then he hits that same double stop, just two frets higher. And then he, uh, and then he, he just hits that same double stop, but he bends it a little bit up, right? All right, so, right? And just get the vibe for that, because he does that. Just you know, play through that if you're sort of newer to, to guitar. Just get used to doing that, because he uses that exact same lick uh, many times here, as you're about to see. But yeah, just just get that lick down. <laughs> And then he does it same, the same exact lick, just at the fifth fret. All right, same exact lick. All right, and then he goes back to the twelfth. And then he does it at the uh, an octave higher than here at the A on the seventeenth uh, fret. But yeah, same lick. And then he does it back on the twelfth again. And then back on the fifth again. And then it's the riff. Alright? And then we kind of get into the second half of the solo, right? And he he's gonna he's gonna start by sliding up here, I think. So from here he's gonna slide up real quick to the 14th fret on the E. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so. So he's sliding up on the 14th fret of the E, then hammering on, picking and hammering on from the 12 to 14 on the A. Right, so. And then I think he's going to hit the D12. I think he's going to go. Alright, so. It's hitting the 14 on the G. Then he's going to uh, bend up, do a sort of generic blues lick there, right? So you can even throw in a unison bend on there, and just sort do some uh, sort of blues licks there on the, you know, something like that. Uh, it's just sort of filler lick in here to get us to the next lick, which is... He's going to do this kind of thing where he's... Uh, he's going to bend. He's going to hold that for a while. And uh, it's going to be a full step bend. And he's going to he's gonna be going back and forth on how far he bends it. He's going to bring it back down slowly, then back up. So just keep that in mind. So... And while he's doing that, you're going to be constantly tapping on the, uh, what is that, uh, 17th fret of the G, all right? So this is all G string. I'm trying to make it so you can see what I'm doing, though. All right, so that's just, and you just got to, just got to practice just hitting, hitting the same string hit it with your finger over and over again. You can do it with, I prefer to do it with my middle finger. You can do it with your uh, pointer finger too. 
but yeah, so it's whatever is comfortable for you. And it's important to whether you're bending up or down on on the string, because you know if you feel more comfortable doing it up, then go ahead. I don't. I prefer uh, going down. I think most people will when bending the G string. And he just he hangs out there for a while. You can also do it with your pick. Just put your pick sideways. Right, uh, and he, he hangs out there for a while. And then he, <laughs> and then he kind of lands on the 12th there. 12th fret, so after. And then he uh, does this. All right, so. All right. And then he does this chromatic thing. Just picking once and then hammering on with both fingers from the 12th to the 13th, 14th. And then hitting the 12th on the D. Then sliding down. And resolving like that. And then he's gonna go. All right, so that's just. So that's hammer on, pull, hammer on, on the 10th to 12th on the E and A. Then he's going to do the same thing, but it's from the 9th to the 12th on the D. Then he's going to slide up to the 14th. He's going to play the 12th of the G. Then he's going to play... So that's all right. You can you can see where my finger's going. Uh, he's gonna throw in some quick picking there. So this. So just get those three notes on the on the G string. Resolving there, and then I think he, he might just be hitting like a, a bundle of open strings. You could just hit the low E for this, but he's sort of pedaling here. He does that twice, and then he hits some double stops here, and he kind of bends them. All right, so that's just 14 to 12 on the G and B, and then he ends it by doing some like unison bends and throwing in a quick blues lick. Uh, basically just anything there as long as he uses some bend and his little blues thing on the 14 and 12 of the G and B is where the unison is. Anything like that, right? And then he, uh, during the last verse of the song, he's playing this, which is... song it's a pretty cool riff and i like how he just sort of throws that in there at the end uh this is basically just uh all right so all right so two hits on the open e then going chromatically from the five to the seven then going on the seventh of the a then picking all those from the seven to five to three so right and then he does the same thing on the a and the e and then the d i mean right and then he does the same thing on the e then he does it slightly different the uh, second time on the A. Right, so he's going four to five. Right. Then 
then I think he's throwing another E in there at the very end. So. <laughs> That's it. He does that riff one more time, and then in the outro, which I discussed before. <laughs> and that's the song. Hope you got a lot of. It. Hope you got a lot out of this lesson. It's a neat little song. Hope you enjoy playing it. And that solo, I didn't really think about it before, but yeah, I, now that uh, this, I've been reminded of the song, I enjoy this, uh, this solo. All right, enough goofing around. Hope you have a nice day.